Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman. And my name is Benson. And welcome back to Project Zero Two Re-Edition. So, in the last episode, I got lost, I found a shadow key, and Mayu was all creeping out, and then I was like, well, where am I supposed to go? And apparently, I gotta step on this, even though I stepped on this thing so many goddamn times in the previous episode. Maybe the door will open if I stand here. Well, no shit, huh? I did that in the last episode, and I'll I, try standing and I also did that while I was wandering around. By the way, I ended up wandering around a little bit, and so I did find some stuff that I had missed, just like some film and stuff. So if you're wondering, like, how did you get all that powerful film? Well, it's because I wandered around looking for what to do, and this is what I had to do. God, it took me so long to find this. I, I feel so... Lame. I, I knew it had something to do with this, but when I stepped on the last episode, nothing happened. I, I don't know. Anyways, funky chicken time. Funky, 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 funky! Butterfly Diary 2. Oh, I found a Butterfly Diary 3 I'm going to show you, too. This is wrong. It's just as Itsuki said. Munakata's master is going to become a star star. We must stop that from happening. I can't cope with the thought of losing someone. An asterisk. Okay, I'm just going to say asterisk, asterisk. I can't cope with the thought of losing someone else like we lost Mutsuki. We have to help him. One of the keys to his cell is in the rope chamber. I think that's the one I got. Yeah, that's the shadow key. So yeah, father is going to make that man Mutakata's master into an asterisk. Asterisk. <laughs> A key to his cell is kept safe on the bookshelf in father's room. Okay, so we need to go to the father's room. Uh, if someone must be offered to the asterisk in order to say it, then why not us? If we were to be offered as a crimson sacrifice, that man could go free. So, anyways, we gotta check. I'm gonna show you the- Oh! Yes! Man! Man saying something. It's a man, and he's saying something. Okay. And then... Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Oh, it's all the way over there! I heard something fall on the other side of the lattice work. Oh, so it's, it's on the other side, so we gotta go into the room? We gotta go all the way back around? Really? That's super far away. <laughs> ah! Okay, I know where we gotta go. We gotta go all the way back around, past where Sai was laughing last episode. We gotta go there and find the key. God damn it! That's so far away, so much backtracking. <laughs> Okay, well anyways, let's head there. Oh no! And look it, I switched my controls around, and now I know how to use my spirit stones. Oh shit, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's so loud! Where are you? He's coming back with a vengeance! Oh my god, he was right in front of Why couldn't I see him? Was I just being dumb? Oh my god, he's so fast! No, I'm using my... Oh, there we go, I used it, yes! So I gotta press triangle and then square to use it. So that's my new setup, it's kind of annoying. And wow, my setup, it says it should be easier to get a fatal frame. Now that I've used it on him for a short time, I should get fatal frames more. What? He ran away? Ah! Oh, you pussy, oh no! What? I thought he ran away. No, he's still here. Oh my god! He's throwing his projectile heads at me. You cheapo. Why these... <laughs> You're a ghost. You should be frightened of me. Okay? Creepy priest. Oh, and why would you go for a sigh like that? Innocent little sigh. And I should have waited and got the fatal frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I do have quite a lot of type 61, but no! I'm saving it for the end. Oh, you son of a bee! Seriously, this guy, he's like the Mega Man of ghosts. Just shooting stuff at me! But I got the fatal... Oh, what a fail of a combo that was. I totally missed it. But whatever, I'm happy. At least I got one fatal frame. Okay, I don't want to dick around with this guy anymore. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use my Type 61. No more dickin'. It's not gonna be any dickin's here! Well... Sai, get over here! 
Seriously, girl, get out in the open. He keeps on going for you, and he's just like, oh, shit. Okay, finally, you're going... Oh, you were gonna go for me. Come on, go for me. Thank you. Oh, I couldn't wait. Oh, but that does so much more damage. Yes, this film is awesome. And I do have this film, too. Titan 90 film, baby. Okay, come on. Yes! Oh, that's such an easy fatal frame when he uses that. Okay, there we go. Two-hit combo to death. Okay, let's peace out of here, Mayu. Yeah. Uh. So anyways, I'm fine. Whoa. Oh no, the pit is opening. Yes, you gotta prepare the Kusabi. And anyways, guys, I accidentally, I thought we had to wander all the way around to where Sai was and upstairs there. And I'm really angry, so I'm gonna bite Benson. Oh, God, I feel better now. Oh, you fucking asshole! Because I wandered all the way around there, because th there is a door up there that connects. The one that you can see over to the right there on the map. So anyways, that door friggin' connects, and I thought it was that one. And my god, Village Tome, the twins. Just twins. During the Crimson Sacrifice, Cest... Cestival sounds like. <laughs> a cesspit of something. The two bodies of the maidens become one, and they are consecrated so as to appease the asterisk. Oh my god, not the evil asterisk. Ah! Uh, the second maiden shall remain in our world to protect it, while the first shall enter the asterisk in order to appease the forces of Earth. Okay. So anyways, we found out, yes. So one twin stays alive, and one twin has to die. By what means, though? The butterflies. Oh, what do the butterflies mean? The second maiden marks the first maiden with a crimson butterfly. Okay, so that's why it's called Crimson Butterfly. Who returns from the asterisk to watch over our village. Okay, so af in the afterlife she'll come back and watch over. The maiden who becomes a butterfly ascends to heaven, its wings opening the skies and bringing light wherever it goes. That's cool. So I think the butterflies that we've seen are like previous sacrifices that have been made of um, the twins. They're like the previous, uh... Everyone is dead. Stop it! With your morbid shit. Oh. Statue grips its key. Yes! Grips the key, what? Doesn't look like I'll be able to remove the key. There are five thin grooves. Groovin', baby! Oh no, I have a feeling there's gonna be a handy grab. No, oh, okay. Calamities. They love the word calamity. When the ceremony is not held, the asterisk is unsealed and a great calamity will occur. Okay, and the calamity I'm sure happened, which killed everybody. The asterisk will f overflow with inhuman beings, swallowing all around it and sealing the sky with darkness, which is what happened to the village. The darkness shall engulf the land for generations. We must learn that these calamities are our penance for failing to fulfill. Well, your duties kind of suck because you got to kill some twins, or you got to kill one of the twins. We must learn these duties are the very reason for our existence. Well, whatever, just the village... I mean, I'm sure they've killed a lot more twins than even the population of this village. This village doesn't look very big. Sacrifices. In years when there is no crimson sacrifice, the asterisk grumbles with dissatisfaction and must be satisfied with a kusabi. A kusabi must be one from outside the village and must be prepared in a ritual before being presented to the asterisk. The more suffering a kusabi endures, the greater the extent... <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. So that one guy who was coming to report, they use as a kusabi. And let's learn some more! Well, we're learning so much. <laughs> learning is fun! Taboos. The asterisk is a gate that leads directly to hell. The asterisk must not be looked into, for it will turn one's eyes to two asterisks and kill the light from within them. Wow. The asterisk must not be spoken of, for it will turn one's mouth to double asterisks and kill the voice that's inside it. The asterisk must not be allowed to listen to it for it turns one ears to... Okay, so don't listen or... Don't do anything. Don't let it touch your senses, okay? E what's this? Okay, this one's gonna be a ghost hand. I know it. No, okay, never mind. Yay! I got some points. By the way, I upgraded my points, so like my spirit points will... Uh, I'll show you. 
So what I did is I went in here and I upgraded this to spirit points. The way the lenses work is see it takes, it says it takes one spirit point and one spirit point. So that would take two spirit points because all the lenses get used together in one shot. So I have five equipped so I can use all of these at the same time. Well I have five spirits that I can use. Five spirit stones at a time because I upgraded. Now I gotta find out what to do in the stupid puzzly puzzle. Eerie masks. Investigate. Some kind of cloth. Oh no! It looks like a body's back there, but it's not gonna be a body. Oh yes! Oh baby! Yeah, I got away. I let go of it at the last second. I am amazing. <gasps> it appears to be a broken statue. Really? I did all of that just to look at a friggin' broken statue. Okay, let's unlock this door. The other side of this... What? Oh, there, I unlocked it. See, the other side of this door, that's where I went to last time. What a bunch of bull poopy. Okay, can I get this now? Because I read all the books. I think because I took all the books out, I can get it now. Doesn't look like I'll be able to remove it. There are five thin grooves above the statue. Crimson butterflies in the festival, but to seal the without both offerings, the Kasabi. Oh, it's all, you gotta friggin' remember this. Okay, one sec, let's read it again. No, I don't wanna quit. Kasabi, kasabi, kasabi. Okay, so this one's this one. Sacrifices. This one's the one about the festival. Okay, all the words are there. Oh, this is an easy puzzle. It's just a matter of me not being a stupid retard. Calamities. No, that's a penance one. So this one's here. And then this one's here. Yay! That wasn't very hard. Why was I being so stupid before? I should have just read the books. Okay, whatever. I'm over it. Let's get back to that cell with both of our keys. Uh, it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, you've just been spouting weird, ghastly shit the whole time we've been here. It's nothing. Yeah. I wonder what she feels. Like, I wonder if she even realizes that she's being possessed. I think because Sai is having an effect on her, she's like, oh, we must stay. Because what I read in another journal, I'll, I'll just tell you, is Yai was saying we gotta find a way to escape, and yeah, Sai is really apprehensive about it. She really wants to help the village. So Sai is willing to be a sacrifice, but Yai does not want Sai to be sacrificed. So they're in a little bit of a predicament! What? I could have fatal framed him there? That's really weird. That's weird, really? Okay, I don't want to use you, Uber Film. This guy looks like just one of those random ghosts who does jack squat. He's like, I try to be cool, but my friends don't like me. Come on! Oh, he was way too close. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't wait. You know, I hate this fatal frame. You gotta wait till the really last second, okay? See, look, there wasn't even a fatal frame there. That's bullshit. Oh my god. And now he sounds like, uh... No, I give up on fatal frames. Screw it. It's just so weird. Okay, hurry up. Yeah, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Ah! Oh no! He went limit break! Limit break! No! And there's two of them? What? This is bullshit! What the fuck just happened? Limit break! Suddenly another one just coming out of nowhere? Oh, whatever. I got a lot of healing. But still! Cheaters! Oh, I couldn't wait. God damn it. Oh, you cheating ghosts. I hate you. Okay, one of them's dead. Oh, let's get this one. Oh, he's gonna make a dying noise. You ready? Oh, I was just trying to find my way to...
to the bathroom. Okay, that was his dying noise. Ugh. Okay, enough of that. Oh, yeah, there's an itemy item here. Okay, let's get the itemy item. Yeah, oh, no. I sense a ghost hand. Uh, nope. Herbal medicine. Oh, yay. What? I'm taking a... What a creeper. They should name him Creeper. They should just say, Creeper, pervert, looking down 15-year-old girl's skirts. He's like, ooh, look, you can see some cleavage from up here. Oh, my God. I've... Yeah, because Sai is taking over you, that's why. You really haven't been before. Yay, use the two keys, raw. Good. Good for us. Success. Yeah, you guys should be cheering for me. The key to this cell is your own The scholar. Oh, the scholar! Yeah, he's the one that they were taking away who visited the village and he, they were going to make him the Kusabi. Oh, no! It's always when I least expect it. Oh. Okay, let's learn some more info, dudes. Fuck off! Really? I didn't think there would be two in a row. That's... <sighs> Calm down. Just put Benson in your mouth. No! Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the twin maidens. Twin girls are offered as sacrifices during the Crimson Sacrifice Festival. Twin boys are also used on occasion. They were used in the previous festival. There's like an Itsuki and Mitsuki or something. And they were used before Yai and Sai. But that one failed because they ran away. It would appear that according to the local belief system, twins are all originally one person. Uh, it seems the Crimson Sacrifice Festival is based on the belief that maidens are one being separated into two. So when they rejoin together, they're granted the power of God. So one of the... That's weird. Ancient text was on note, the elder sister must asterisk asterisk the younger and cast her into the asterisk. Okay, so the... One sec. So the elder sister must sacrifice the younger sister. The asterisk asterisk must refer to something too terrible to mention directly, and yet... Ugh. Well, that sucks. There are a pile of books here that look slightly new. Okay. Let's read this one. Oh, there's not going to be a hand here. The eight hammer key! It's the one in the basement! Yeah, thanks, map. I know I've been trying to get to that room forever. Okay. Osaka house map. I guess we're going to the Osaka house pretty soon. Alright. Come on. Pick it up. Oh, that's where the hand grabbed me before. I didn't even go back for it. And... Okay, some more folks. All the... Wow, long one. My jailer remains tight-lipped and has yet to say a single word to me. It's very different to the way I was treated when I first came to the village. Is this the real reason why I was invited here? No! You're the Kusabi! My cell is well-stocked with books, at least, including some seemingly important works that I have not seen before. This incarceration will be, okay, blah, 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 even if no one will get a chance to read it. Well, I'm reading it right now. Stop it! The Abyss. No one knows exactly how long it has been here, but it has connected this world to the underworld since ancient times. Great disaster is said to take place whenever it is unsealed believe this abyss is in fact the gateway to hell that's mentioned in local legend. It is considered a taboo word in ancient texts indicated with the symbol. Okay, so that's why it's indicated with the asterisk symbol. So I, I'm going to call it the gateway to hell from now on. Okay, and it is said that only the suffering of those sacrificed has the power to seal this. Mourners! These people guard the abyss and make preparations for the ceremony. They are the only ones allowed to approach the abyss. In the year that the ceremony is held, those who are to become mourners have their eyes sewn shut. Ugh! So they don't have to look into the abyss. Those who break village rules by looking into the abyss are also often made become mourners. When the ceremony is over, the mourners are sent to live underground, never returning to the surface. Eh, what could the abyss possibly contain that the villagers would go to such lengths to guard it? That sucks! Oh my god! What a horrible life this village has. What a horrible, horrible life. Just people walking around with their eyes stitched shut. No. Come on, quickly. We have to go. Sai, she looks drunk. She's like, oh shit. Oh no. Automatic doors are the bane of my existence. Hey, this village is pretty uh, no futuristic. It's not open. What are we going to do? There must be a key somewhere. I'm going to look for it. I won't be long. 
Don't go. Really? It just shut automatically. Stay here with me. It's okay. I'll be back. But you promised me. What? Don't leave me. That's a reoccurring theme. Don't leave me. Please, Mio. Uh. Let's go check on her. Are you doing okay? Let go, please. Oh, huh? wow. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Hurry up, slow coach. You don't want me to leave you here, do you? Mia! Wait for me! Come on, Mayu! Hurry up! Wait! Oh no, you let Mia, Mayu slip and please. fall. Don't leave me! Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mayu. Of course. Mayu. That's what happens when you run in front of someone. The other person just bails down the side of the trail into Mayu. the ravine. Oh, that was pretty far, actually. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on, it wasn't your fault. Mayu was just being a klutz, okay? Don't go. I'm begging you. Mayu, don't be weak. Don't uh, worry. Okay. But if I don't, you'll rot don't away here care. and die. Stay with me. Here. Forever. Forever? Uh, Mayu! Don't leave me. Please. Don't leave me. I won't be long. I swear. I won't be long. I'll be back before you know it. So, my eldest sister means to abandon me once more. Uh... <sighs> well, holy shit! Okay, anyways, guys, perfect time to end the episode. This episode was actually longer than normal. Sorry about that. But anyways, guys, in the next episode, we're going to continue on to Chapter 5. We're going to finally use the key in that place I've been wanting to use the key for a really long time. So, I will see you then, okay, guys? Peace. Goodbye!